Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Now, about a month ago on my Tesla Model S, I got pretty excited because I saw this icon appear on the top of my center screen. For those who don't know, that is the home link icon. Now, when I was researching Teslas a few years ago, that was one of the few features that caught my eye was the fact that you could press that button and your garage door would open. I'm going to show you the steps you're supposed to take on how to program it, but spoiler alert, it doesn't work and I'll explain why a little bit later on. So in this video here, you'll see that you go to the home link settings and you'll come up with this page. And so you type in your name. I'll put in Tesla Tom. And it says, have your garage door remote ready. You may want to use new batteries. Uh, I can assure you that my garage door remote is working. There it is there. And it says park in front of your garage door. Make sure to leave enough room for it to open. Uh, in this video, I'm actually in my garage, but I've tried this before in front of my garage door. I can show you that as well. So that's all ready to go. So I press start. It says getting ready to program. This may take up to a minute. Now this wheel does spin quite a bit, but then after that, it goes back to the screen. So just to uh, show you it's not a fluke, I press that again. And as you'll see, it returns back to that same screen. So uh, I even tried things like um, change transmit mode, maybe that made a difference. Instead of standard, I put universal receiver. But you'll see that uh, universal receiver mode was not enabled. Please try again. So that doesn't work either. So uh, a little bit disappointing. Um, couldn't get the home link working in Australia. It looks like I'm not alone, unfortunately, because now, as you know, I'm a member of the Tesla Owners Club of Australia. And on the Facebook page about a month ago, there was quite a bit of excitement because this icon turned up. But I would say that after a month, uh, the vast majority of people can't get it working. Initially, it was thought perhaps it was to do with the hardware, uh, that cars built after 2017 had the, had the correct hardware for Homelink. So I thought, okay, my car's a bit older. It's a 2015 build. But people with cars bought this year in 2018 couldn't get it working either. So I think it might be something to do with the frequency of the garage doors. Maybe it's not compatible with the software uh, that's come from the US. Uh, just full disclosure, my garage door is a BND Control Advanced model. So there you go, home link not working on Tesla Model S and X in Australia. It is disappointing, yes, but certainly not a deal breaker by any means. I mean, it's not hard to reach for your garage door remote in your car to press your garage door open. That's no big deal. But it would have been nice. But again, I'm not too fussed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment. If, uh, if you are a Tesla driver and you managed to get it working, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you're in the garage door industry or if you know someone who works in Homelink, I'd love to hear from you as well. Maybe we can get this working together. But uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score six months of free supercharging. Happy charging!